Alright, cracking a polluted delta. Underground C. So 2024 Legacy, these reanimator decks have become blue black. Um, blue black scam, blue black tempo is a hybrid of different things jammed together, I guess you could say. I don't know. Uh, Force of Will, Days, Wasteland, those tools are available, but also a reanimator package with the grief reanimate scam package as well. So these decks are, are capable of firing off a couple of discard spells early on in the game, holding up four stays. Some good tools to beat Storm, potentially. But the Storm decks, you know, they, they have, you know, they're built for fighting through stuff like Force of Will and Days, right? Veil of Summer is a card you'll often see in the main deck. All right, so that's the Undercity Sewers we're going to surveil. And, um, yeah, Violent Outburst in the chat says, I played in a Legacy 3K and smaller event this weekend, and people came ready for reanimate. People are ready for reanimate these days, I would say. Alapisa, thank you for the reset with Prime four months. Appreciate that. Creeping up towards our sub goal. Here's a brainstorm for Matthew. The reanimator deck also, of course, has Bowmaster. Cy Norna in the chat says, I can beat most Storm players with a slice of pizza. Oh, my God, Cy Norna. Cy Norna's losing it, folks. Cy Norna's getting wacky. I watched Cy Norna confront Anarchy Inducer in our Webcam Legacy League last night. Both were, I think, undefeated, maybe? And uh, it was quite a clash. And Cy Norna, I, t I don't know if there's a better Elves player out there besides Cy Norna. I, I, I'm impressed every time I watch Cy Norna play, for real. Okay, we're thinking about responding to Lotus Petal. Uh, Matthew may be moving a little bit too quickly. Could possibly daze this Lotus Petal. Storm is currently two after the Brainstorm and Lotus Petal. All right, daze on the Lotus Petal. Storm is now three. No, I only do like it. <laughs> Anarchy Inducer is in the chat. Ass whooping was thorough. I am like a CSO. Pad, thank you for the resub with Prime. Two months. Appreciate that. Yes. Sinorna says, you beat a Storm player with a slice of pizza by bribing them with a slice of pizza. That's, that might be a big development right there. All right, Storm counts going up. Here's Galvanic Relay. Storm Mechanic, folks. I don't know what they were thinking when they made the Storm Mechanic. Can we just go back in time and cancel Scourge? Uh, burn and Artifact. This mechanic's messed up. It's especially surprising. All right, so, uh, so I was going to say suspended, but exiled with Galvanic Relay. We have Dark Ritual, Ponder, Burning Wish, Lion's Eye Diamond, Veil of Summer, another Lion's Eye Diamond, and then Beseech the Mirror. It looks like John's looking for something. Yeah, well, that you'll, I assume you'll be able to play. Yeah, I will do. Good luck. Good luck. So on your hands. Uh, <laughs> So Lion's Eye Diamond, a key card. Burning Wish, a key card. Veil of Summer, a key card. Beseech, being cast from exile means discarding your hand to LED is not a not an issue. Delusional crowd who plays some storm in the chat says that's a win pile. Looking pretty good for Matthew, according to the chat. Here's a brainstorm. High Star says next turn will be huge. Yeah, it's looking pretty good for Storm right now. Happy about it. I'll keep. I'm pseudo happy. Um, What's up, Anarchy Inducer? I knew I should run this land. All right, uh, Mountain Go. On top of people draw. All right, so John resolves the brainstorm, then passes the turn. Uh, 
This is going to be tough. Metalcraft is not currently online, but that's an easy problem to solve. Here's Lens at Diamonds. How you want against Chrome? Um, this land is not. Chromox has Cabal Ritual imprinted on it. Veil of Summer to start the turn. Here's Lens at Diamonds. This uh, may just be going through the motions at this point. I don't see a way that uh, Matthew can lose this game right now. Oh, Mox Opal? I think there was a Lotus Petal to turn on Metalcraft, right? Exile every two mana. Two play. What? Teach the mirror to sacrificing from us. Also, Teach the mirror. Bargain. Sacrifice Chromox. I trust it. Okay. And what is? Yeah. All right, John's gonna scoop it up. John knows the deal. We're going to game two. Okay. Or is it beyond tears? Uh, All right, John will be on the play. Flooded Strand. Let's see what else we got. Grief. Pitching something. I think I didn't do that math. I will animate chump and this is I'll have four blocks. Burn it. Uh, all force of will. Okay. Animate dead. Pitch to evoke. Bloodstained mire. And then of the non lands, we have Lion's Eye Diamond, Chrome Mox, Mox Opal, Vell of Summer, Duress, and Burning Wish. It's a pretty good hand. Monka TG has arrived. Monka reporting in. Keith Master Flex saying hello to Monka immediately. Say hello to Monka, please, chat. I don't know like, what you're playing. Brainstorm. Brainstorm still. Yeah. Brainstorm's chill. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. All right. Grief takes the burning wish. That makes sense. It's an argument for... Burning Wish, or maybe Lion's Eye Diamond. Maybe. It's just the Force of Will, I think, that... I mean, you didn't know how to... Bill of Summer is pretty annoying, though. Honestly. Well, I knew how the Painter combo worked. I knew... Sidenorna says, hello, all of you hurt by the Bowmaster. Sidenorna doesn't give a crap about Bowmaster. Sidenorna is winning regardless with Elves. Sidenorna doesn't give a damn. Like, I knew how the combo worked. I didn't know how much the things cost. And that being uh, tutor below Saga is yep. nasty. It's on me. Both of those are Chromox. I might have said Mox Opal mistakenly a moment ago. They're just different art Chromoxes. All right, so reanimate on the Grief, and now Lion's Eye Diamond has been taken. I mean, this stuff matters a little bit. John's life total now down to 15. Needs less Storm to win the game. Grief will start attacking. That's a somewhat slow clock. This game is not over, despite the Grief scam. Troll of Kazadoom getting Swamp Cycled. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Actually, I don't play Infects. Does, does, is there a time period in which I could destroy the Grindstone? Delusional Kraut thinks Radstorm is in the Tier 1 discussion, and uh, that might be the craziest one yet. I appreciate you telling me how your deck works. Yes, but Radstorm is... It's everywhere right now. It's everywhere. Um, but once you see it a couple times, you'll know how it operates. You miss some other stuff. I've started to adjust my sideboard for Radstorm decks. Good job. Um, now I don't know how it goes here. Just, um, All right, Wasteland is surveilled into the graveyard by Undercity Sewers. And now an Undercity Sewers for Matthew. So everybody gets to surveil these days. Felt great. Still lost the game, but you know, it felt really good that that... <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, done it, I've done it off of the track, so pretty nice. So resolving the surveil now is Matthew. Dark Ritual into the trash. So in theory, it's worse for you to name black or blue because of snakeskin veil. Well, they're not snakeskin veil, a veil of summer. Well, I might benefit from one of those colors. Oh, that's true too. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you kill someone with Radstrom, they probably quit playing. That's true. That's actually true. Yeah, I like shiny cards in general. Where's this card on the board, Eric? You chose not to put it in your board today. You thought about it. No, 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 I'm talking about main deck. I thought it wouldn't be good. It's right here. No. I'll be on the play. Makes sense. Okay, so a Chromox imprinting Velosummer. Now a second Chromox has been played. Storm is now three. Play a lot of modern. That's playing the Dice Factory deck. We played at Gamer's Choice. You were my first round, and you. I won every single round after that. Oh, was that the big turn? Okay, Galvanic Relay. The rest will stick around in hand. Uh, looks like it'll be four total copies of of of. Of Galvanic Relay. I could not get that out. All right. Force of Vigor. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> Gaia's Will, Echo of Eons, and Galvanic Relay and Beseech, Beseech the Mirror. No, that was against the rules. Yeah. That's, uh... That one is not as exciting as the previous game's Galvanic Relay, that's for sure. Here's Dothy Voidwalker. And passing the turn. Dothy Voidwalker is relevant. I think I got, like... I got a top 16. Potter? I think I went like uh, five two that good. day. Uh, I forgot what I so this ponder might be looking for a way to cast this Echo of Eons. Uh, Lion's Eye Diamond would be the way. This is this is rough. Yeah, yeah. it's nice that at least the games go quick with both our decks. I think. Well, yep. Legacy in fact is way better than Modern. Yep. That ponder gets exiled. Good on John. Has a void counter on it. Found a Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay, we're, we're it's happening, everybody. Lion's Eye Diamond is on the stack. But so, it's, you have to have so many more tools to defend it. With four support, and you have one, two, three, four. reflexes. Yep. And, and then you have white, so I'm assuming uh, sorts of plowshares. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what's playing around. Right right. I could have went for the combo, but yeah, maybe get swords. That was only in the board. Uh, <laughs> maybe. But I think that I don't want to run the temple card, and I want to. I'm so used to wanting all my lands to be green. Beseech the Mirror, Galvanic Relay, Echo of Eons, and Gaia's Will are exiled with Galvanic Relay and available for Matthew to cast this turn. Four cards, and it's possible that only one of them will get used this turn. Well, turns out none of them will get used this turn. It looks like. I'm going to fetch I'll fetch the other turn. turn. So I can play until the other turn. Okay, so I'll fetch. Uh, for a breeding pool, and I will play a Glissarus. Seems like Matthew has passed the turn. John's just going to surveil with an Undercity Sewer. Sinorna says, I hear all people at Wizard of the Coast who tried to ban Radstorm are no longer alive. Wow. That, that's quite a rumor. Yep. That's a little extreme. Evoke a Fury and pitching a Pyroblast. Yeah. All right, an attack for six. Matthew down to seven, running out of time. Here's another Void Walker and pass the turn. I think this probably is John's game, but things could go wrong. Oh, Draw for turn. Honor Shuffle. The shock in another breeding pool. Play a blanket agent. Oh, I'll respond to that. Delusional Kraut says, No way Wizards of the Coast saw the legacy Aetherworks Marvel deck popping off after getting your energy counters proliferating and getting multiple spins with Volteo Key. I, I agree, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, it's blue-black. It's not even like the red anymore. Untap to keep draw. All right, one card on the bottom for Just Guy John. We're ready to go. Bloodstained Mire Pass. Game three. Cracking Bloodstain Mire. Nice. Two? Uh, take two. I'll pass. Cards in hand. One, one. one. Yep. Untapped. Yep. Yep. Commercial District Surveil. Red Green Surveil Land from Carlo Mana. Pass to combat. Yep. Attack. Take two. Nope. Before damage. There you go. I will invigorate. Get plus four plus four. I will invigorate again. Sounds like somebody in the background is getting poisoned. Ten. All right, game three. Man, I, I had like a dead card in hand, but I didn't have that card in hand. Which card do you have in hand? Uh, you don't want to tell me. I couldn't cast. 
All right, I beseech the mirror will be exa uh, will be discard uh, will be surveilled to the graveyard. All right, Misty Rainforest and Tomb on the end step. There's a Traxa. Oh boy. I mean, I didn't use all my interaction. <laughs> Get that hand to like buy my ass a couple turns. Right. Sometimes you draw it, sometimes you don't. Yeah, Did they test a Traxler for 1v1? Here's a reanimate. I love Jim's Dome Tavern. That's one of my favorite cards. Can't run it in this deck. <laughs> no, you can do it. I feel like Jim's Dome Tavern stock just goes down in general in Legacy with days. Uh, I mean, some decks want it, like Rhinos. Yeah, let me repeat it. In blue deck. Okay, so Vela Summer in response to reanimate. That allows Matthew to draw a card. Atraxa will now enter. John goes down to 13. John will get to look at 10 cards and put some of them in hand. But now down to 13, life could be relevant. Ponder days. Grief could be a good way to disrupt Matthew's game plan for the following turn. Or really for the whole rest of the game if it can hit some critical cards in hand. There's also a possibility of scam. I don't think John has played a land this turn. Yeah. Sign Ronis says last week, and I hard casted a Traxa. You know what? At least you did it the fair way. Bottom. I'm gonna molt you. It's, uh, I have man. way more than seen cards. I had everything but pump spells. I had interaction, but it's, I. Oh, that's right. Matthew's under Vela Summer, so uh, can't grief here. Great point by Voodoo. I forgot about that for a moment. Great point. But the grief was selected. It's in hand. One with a ponder and a daze. So if we're going to fire off grief, it, it'll have to be next turn. Hopefully John remembers that. I, I didn't remember, but John probably remembers. John's sitting in the seat. I'm over here cozy drinking some water. Misty Rainforest getting cracked. So there's way more nuance and interaction, like slick shit. Also way more yeah. card. All right, under city sewer, another surveil. There's way more shit you can do within a, a stack interaction with that modern. I think. Well, it's funny. That's how I felt about modern versus pioneer for a bit. Is just like modern has so much more interaction than pioneer yeah. or any of the other. I mean, the more less of the format, the more interaction, the less land. Yeah. I hope it's the yard. Let's get some back. All right, guys, will surveil into the graveyard. And tomb discarded the hand size. Pass the turn. Have a force of uh, bigger. So that Velo Summer, which I forgot about, my bad, for a moment last turn, uh, protected Matthew from grief. And we'll see now. All right, the storm counter is getting pulled out. We'll see now if Matthew has a plan to win the game this turn. Here's Velo Summer. Cracking a fetch in response. Good luck. Great furnace. Mm -hmm. Welder. Yep. Yes. There's a tricky game here too, where if you're on the, you know the, the day's force of will side, you have to consider the possibility that you're adding to the storm count and you're still not going to win the game. But John fetching here, and there might be a response to Villa somewhere. And be grateful that we have 25 minutes for game. John's at 12, so not a lot of storm is needed. All right, a brainstorm in response to Villa Summer. Storm is now two, so just four more storm needed, or four more copies of tendrils needed. Shouldn't be that hard. Can John successfully? Stop the chain of storm spells. I will cast some degree if I have any gain free life. Yes, 
four plus four is one of turn. Right. And if, if John fires off a counter spell, that'll also add to Storm. And all that's on the stack right now is a Vela Summer, so. Uh, all right, Force of Will. Pitching me Ponder. Vela Summer's countered, but if John is out of ammo, it's pretty much the same as having a Vela Summer. Let's see what happens. All right, Chromox and Printing Burning Wish. Uh, to, to be you. Getting, getting points that, that's you right there. Storm is now four. John is at 11. Force. <laughs> uh, but I mean, like, in that situation, I was always... Matthew finds Bayou. Oh, what's we call it? Galvanic Relay. Higher chance of black. High art beats. <laughs> All right, so Galvanic Relay, it turns out. Um, John will live another turn. Mox Opal, Ponder, Lotus Petal, Beseech, and Lotus Petal. Hmm. Okay. Tracks it will attack. That'll swing life totals in a big noticeable way. John back up to 18 now. So. A little bit further. Out of range. Grief getting cast now. Beseech the mirror and burning wish are in hand. Sign order in the chat says that is a solid relay. It wasn't bad. We were all here. We want to big brain. All right, burning wish is selected. Promise they're all magic cards. I don't have three fifths of Exodia. <laughs> Brainstorming. Guy's will is in the graveyard, which is something. Oh, wait a you can get something else. <laughs> you are still shuffling, you're still resolving, in my opinion. <laughs> if John lives for another turn and gets another attack with Atraxa, this, this might just be out of range for Matthew. So this next turn, um, with the resources we've got, Matthew might have to try and finish the game. Because Atraxa has lifelink and seven power. And Matthew just has one card in hand. Five cards on the table are exiled with Galvanic Relay and will be available until the end of Matthew's next turn. All right, more combat. Gonna sacrifice this. only from my bird. Fetch shop. For a... However, I don't know what's in your hand, but assuming you're trying to surgical, this I can still cast. I can still cast. I'm going to store it to yeah. power share as a broadside. Right. I'll tell you. I'll just ask you. Uh, and you gain two life? I did. Yeah. All right, I'll pass. Okay. So Matthew pointing out there, if you surgical and beseech the mirror out of hand, I can still cast the one in exile. Niels, thank you for the resub. 17 months. Appreciate that. So dark ritual off the top, it looks like. That is that very important. Exile. I mean, I can't weld it out. Yeah, no. Delusional crowd says we might get a nice song of creation turn now. That's a possibility. I will. Song of creation has been in these storm decks recently. Cool card, really cool card. For a noble hierarch, play breeding pool tapped, and swing at you for three in effect. All right. I can fucking find it. There we go. Pass to you. Lotus Cup? Pass. Pass the combat. Yeah. I will attack you for three. So three black floating, casting a ponder now. Storm is three. Four damage. I'll pass the berserk to double his power. Did you see? First legacy of that trio. Infect is broken. 
Three three zero with chocolate in the back yeah. against two aggro decks in yeah. the first two rounds against burn and black aggro. Yeah. That was three Yeah, in the background you can hear uh, we had a player at Legacy F and M go three zero with infect, no duels, just shock lands, and uh, it can be done, folks. Don't be discouraged. Go jam some games. The third, the if second through fourth, you can not help that much. And then come after. Right. right. That's it's kind of useless. Yeah. That's why we're going to do that. I maybe cut the... I think right. that a lot of my wins today were because my opponents didn't know how to play against Infect, and in that if I bring this deck back... All right, Ponder is resolved. Found a Lotus Petal. Storm is four. Lotus Petal, Storm is five. And then you got so fire. this is mana, yeah. this is Storm. Three black mana, that's yeah. good games, man. That's always a fucking tight one. Good games. I didn't, so I had, I, I wasn't, Six. I had four swords to plowshares and three force of vigor sideboard. Yeah, there's there, no doubt about it. You can go to FNM Legacy with decks like Sneak Macho and Infect and, and win like crazy. There's no doubt in my mind. Endurance. I didn't bring in the endurance. Oh, that, so if I grind stone, you might. Screw the tears. <laughs> I don't care what tier your deck is. Just go play. All right, proceed to the mirror. Point. I'll tap my mana. I might, it's not guaranteed all the mana. Again. That's fair. Yeah. I was thinking for you might, that might be the perfect window. Then you can remove my paint or something. I was thinking that's what Farmer's of Vigor was good for. FNM is not a GP. Go play your infect deck. So you have to find both pieces. Oh no, so I had this stuck in hand with the bridge game two. Mm. Or game one? Was that in two or three? That was game I two, remember. I think. Oh yeah, that, that was game three. Oh, yeah, we were... Okay, Velo Summer. Found with the Besieged the Mirror. And that presents a maybe take it or leave it situation here for John. And it looks like we're just going to have it resolve and we're going to keep going. Yeah, you cleaned up tonight. <laughs> I don't have things on Friday. So I've, all, the thing is, I really just want to play Sacrificing Legacy Mystic Forge Rock combo Opal. so bad. Uh, and that shit is like... Yeah. Storm is now nine. Besiege the Mirror on the stack. Under Veil of Summer's protection. Bargain. What do we find? Yeah. I feel like it's probably better in Legacy yeah, than Vintage because Karn isn't restricted and... Uh, of course the cons. I mean, Lotus, Mox. But the, the thing is, like, in Legacy, you get Manifold such an Tidehold. edge, I feel, by playing a lot of the, um... a lot of the fast mana, like by playing Grim Monolith, Tendrils? Assault Monolith, For Mox. There's Tendrils of Agony. A lot of copies. Okay. As One soon as I took here, um, a guy was on like a mystic course. I really actually was just taking like, your two lotus transmuter for cut it in But then you drew ritual. Really cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Matthew gets the match. John thinking about what went wrong. GGs.